To exchange the pistons of the M156, it's removed. Fix the transmission side of the engine to an assembly rack. To later remove the engine mounting, first put aside the wiring harness. Remove the intake manifold. Under the insulation are 10 screws which must be unscrewed. Follow the given order. We begin on the transmission side on the right, and then in front on the left and so on. You can dispose of the screws immediately. For the installation, a new set is installed. For the next steps, check the VIS document on screen. We remove the vent line, the purge line, and cut the cable ties of the wiring harness. Pull the plug of the injection valves and the fuel pressure sensor. And these four plugs, and the plug of the water temperature at the side. And lastly, this line. Once all other parts, the intake manifold and the wiring harness are removed, then remove the ignition coils. Do the same on the other side, and then remove all spark plugs. 13 screws hold the right valve lid. They must go. Then remove the lid. Once done, set the engine to 40 degrees after the ignition TDC of the first cylinder. The openings in the camshaft adjuster must point upwards. Undo these five screws to remove the adjuster lid. To secure the camshaft adjuster, screw two M58 screws into the openings. Also mount the holding device with the number on screen. Now with a torque wrench, undo the fixing bolt in the camshaft adjuster. Then the adjuster can be removed. Do the same on the other side. Next, take off the whole device and make the camshaft free of tension. This is the case where no cam presses against the cup tappet. To avoid damage to the camshaft, undo the screws in the bridge and the bearing liners. This needs about two rotations. Caution, the bearing liners are numbered and may be on no account exchanged when installing. Once all screws are loosened, you can take out the bridge and bearing liners. Next come the camshafts and the underpart of the bridge. Once this is done, remove the left valve lid, just as the right one. Now remove the chain tension adjuster. Strength is required for this. Also use a large torque wrench, and then a small one. Now caution. Make sure to undo the protection screw in the guide roller. To remove the guide roller, you'll need special tools this thread bolt and the impact driver. Also an M8 thread adapter. Screw the thread bolt and adapter and pull out the guide roller with the impact remover. Next, the four guide rail bolts. Now remove the cylinder head screws according to the tightening procedure. Start with the last screw and work your way inwards. Check the this document on your screen. Then you can take off the cylinder head. Do the same on the other side. In the next step, turn the engine so that the oil pan is on top and remove the external oil lines. The oil pan bottom section, the oil pan top part and both engine mountings. For the removal of the oil pump, you'll need help. First undo these screws. Then with a screwdriver, your colleague presses down on the chain tension adjuster. Then remove the chain from the gear wheel, and you can take off the pump.
There are now a number of screws to remove. Don't forget the small screws on the left and the right of the bearing cover. They're well hidden. Then remove the flywheel on the transmission side. When undoing the 20 screws of the bearing cover, also work your way from the outside in. Now screw the bracket on the axial bearing of the crankshaft. And the second here. This way the crankshaft can't fall out but still be turned. This is necessary to undo the screws in the connecting rod. We'll show you in a cylinder how the removal goes. All pistons are exchanged. Mark the connecting rod and the connecting rod bearing cap. This way you can't mistake it for those of the other cylinders when installing. Then undo the screws in the connecting rod bearing cap and take off the cap. Put a screw back in again. This way you won't damage the piston surface immediately when sliding out. Now raise the chain and turn the crankshaft until the piston is at the TDC. With a suitable socket and extension, push the piston through. The surface may not be touched under any circumstances. Afterwards, check the contact surfaces.